Hey, what's good? Matthew Manuel here. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing seven habits that transformed my trading career. I've personally been trading for the past five years now, and I'm going to keep it real. The first few did not go so smooth. It wasn't until I got these things in check that I really became a profitable trader. So I'm making this video in hopes that you find your way to profitability if you're not already there or get even more profitable sooner in your journey than I did. And real quick, before we get into the video, if you haven't already and are interested in getting up to 12 free fractional shares, just for signing up for Webull using the referral link down below in the description and depositing as little as $1, hey, be sure to check that out. It really helps to support the channel. For those of you that do, thank you. It really helps to support the channel. Enjoy your stocks. And without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing that really transformed my trading career was when I started only trading quality setup. When I first started trading, I was only trading off news. I wasn't no technicals at all whatsoever. I was actually under the belief that, you know, technicals had absolutely nothing to do with trading. But ever since I've kind of gone in and like learned about all of it, technicals have a lot to do with trading. Uh, especially when you're trying to profit off of it in the short term. Technicals are pretty much everything. Sometimes the technicals outweigh news in a lot of situations. So once I finally learned, hey, technicals play a much bigger role than you think they do, and I learned what a good quality setup was, this is probably the thing that took the longest for me is actually getting to the point where I'm like, where, where I realized, hey, technicals matter. Once I started recognizing quality setups, this was a major game changer. The second thing that really helped to transform me as a trader is tracking my trades, putting them in a spreadsheet and seeing why it is I am losing, learning my faults, learning what I was doing wrong. It is because I started tracking my trades that I was able to see what was wrong and it helped me fix some of the things that we're going to go over later in this video. The third thing that really helped to transform me as a trader is limiting my trade size. When I first started trading, honestly, it seemed like the stock market only went up or it'd have its swings. At the time, contracts were a lot cheaper. It was a lot easier to buy things. All the Greeks and stuff for options didn't have as much weight. So because of that, uh, I could buy contracts for a month out. They were a lot cheaper. And pretty much, I remember my strategy. I say I wanted to buy a new laptop. Literally what I would do is, I was like, okay, this came up really high. It's gonna go back down a few dollars at least. I would buy contracts a month out. Once they were up a couple hundred dollars, I would sell out of them, rinse, repeat. Honestly, there was no real logic or reasoning as to why I was buying a call or buying a put. Coming back to it, in this point in time when I was trading, I was throwing everything in there. The more I put in, the more I was able to make. And I got into this habit and once the market kind of switched up and that stopped working, I started getting smacked. I started blowing up accounts over and over and over again. And the habit of journaling that we just spoke about, it helped me realize, hey, the, the amount I'm using is too much. So this really helped me to shrink the size of my trades, learn good risk management, and, and realize how much I should really be putting into a trade. The fourth thing that really transformed me as a trader, and honestly, this is probably the biggest thing the biggest thing right here, if you only take one thing away from this video, if you, if you only change one thing about your trading and, and you're not doing this, this right here, change this if you only take one thing away. And that is keeping your losses small. Have a tight stop loss. So me, I don't personally like put in a physical stop loss, but I will watch the charts and I will have the stop loss drawn in there i'll keep it tight and it's like all right if it falls below this i'm out of the trade the smaller you have your losses the more you're able to lose it's okay to lose you're not going to win all your trades as long as your wins are bigger than your losses you can be 50 50 as a trader and still be profitable if you lose 10 percent on five trades in a row you're not going to be down exactly 50%, but let's just say in this example, you're down 50% just cause I can't do the math in my head. All right, you're down 50%. Now just, just looking at statistics, since you lost five in a row, looking at the probability and statistics, okay, say you win your next five trades and again, your losses are bigger 
then your win. So if you gain 20% on $50, that's $60. 20% on $60, that is, that brings you up to 72. 20% on 72, shoot, I gotta get the calculator now, hold up. That brings you up to 86. Another 20%, that brings you up to 103, and you still have one more trade that you could get that 20%, and that brings you up to 124. As long as your wins are greater than your losses, and honestly, if you're at a 50-50 ratio, you could probably stand to tweak your strategy. As long as your wins are greater than your losses, you're gonna be a profitable trader, assuming you're above 50% on wins and losses. The fifth thing that really helped to transform my trades, it was kind of tracking my trades that helped me notice this, but whenever I didn't sleep well, I was tired, anything like that, was when I made the worst trades, I made the biggest losses. So the fifth thing is make sure you're getting sleep. Get adequate rest. Uh, sleep is probably the most important thing. Now I'm at the point where luckily I can trade at any point in the day. I used to be at a point where, hey, I gotta trade first thing in the morning, but it's like, Stocks go up and down all day, so there are opportunities all day, even if it's just a quick scout. If I wake up in the morning and I'm tired, I'll either go back to sleep or I won't trade. The amount of sleep you get really messes with your mental cognition. Not getting sleep has been equated to driving drunk. And I don't know about you, but I personally don't find driving drunk to be a good idea. So good night's sleep before trading, major key. And the sixth thing that not only transformed my trading career, but it also transformed my life is exercise. All right, look, 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 look. I know not everybody likes exercise. Um, believe it or not, there was a point in time I didn't like exercise, but exercise is like a form of discipline. And I've even found on days that I don't exercise, because I usually try to exercise in the mornings before I trade and stuff. I found on days that I don't exercise, I'm not as good at trading. I don't like, I don't see it as well. Again, I don't have the like set, set stop loss. Maybe, maybe I'll be like, hey, it can run a little bit past the stop loss and it's good. I'm less on it when I don't exercise. I'm less disciplined. I'm letting things slip that shouldn't slip. And exercise has really transformed the game for me. It helps to clear my mind if there's something going on in my life. It helps me feel more confident, which translates to me being like, oh yeah, I see what's going on in the charts and this is going to happen. And overall, it just like discipline. So for those of you that are sleeping on exercise, yo, do a push up, do a pull up, start with something. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say, even if you, don't, if you're watching this video and you don't trade exercise, I promise, I promise. Like I'm not a financial advisor or anything. So all this stuff, not financial advice, but when it comes to life, yo, exercise, it will change your life if you don't exercise. And the seventh and final habit that really transformed my career as a trader is planning out my trade. A few years back, I used to have no idea how people did it. Honestly, I didn't even care to learn or see how it is people were doing what they were doing. You know, I just thought the market was unpredictable. You follow the news and there you go. But market structure is a thing. If you don't know about market structure, look it up. If you want me to make a video on it, hey, let me know down below in the comments. But market structure is a thing. The market moves in a somewhat predictable pattern. Uh, sometimes there are catalysts that will shift things in certain directions, but the better you're able to read market structure, the better your entry. The better your entry, the larger your profits. The larger your profits, the larger your pockets. The larger your pockets, Hey, potentially, if you're not stupid, the better your life. So I wanna know, did you take any value away from this video? Are you going to try to implement anything in this video? Was this even helpful to you? Hey, let me know down below in the comments. If for some reason you're new here and haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future content. Also, while you're down there, be sure to smash the like button. Really helps to support the channel. And if you haven't taken advantage of it yet, be sure to check out the Webull referral link. Get your up to 12 free stocks for depositing as little as $1 on Webull when you sign up using that link. And last but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off here, and I want to change your life. And I truly mean that.